Let's ride. All right. You can hop. You can hop on the couch if you want, there. Caleb. We're watching a a guy go wild. I have a challenge for all of you. Go to every computer in your house. Your How did I get an ad? Your sister, your brother's computer, and install. I love you, Mr. Wait. Beast, but I'm skipping Hi, that everyone. ad. I'm the act attorney here. What a pleasure it is to meet all of you today. I am so thrilled and excited. Never gonna be doing something like that again. You guys literally sound like, like abuse victims, right? So I would this say this game is for somebody they have no family, Bye, bitch. no friends, Bye, bitch. no life. Bye, bitch. I'm not sorry. I don't like Elden Ring players. They're nasty people. The layers are losers. And you want to literally just start rolling with all these claims and accusations? Literally. I'm sure he'll cover it, but I'll still give you like a brief overview. So this all started because this guy made a video saying like Elden Ring sucks or something mm -hmm. and he hates everyone that plays Elden Ring. So Ackman made a video about like the worst take in Elden Ring. Yeah. And this guy got so offended he like copyright struck him or tried to and tried to like abuse oh. copyright and it didn't work and he went on like some kind of like crazy crazy religious meltdown and he made like thousands of fucking posts. It was wild. Look at what you're doing. God, this editing is yeah. next level. Oh. Don't cry for me. I'm already dead. Maybe that's why you don't have a ring on your face. Maybe that's why your kids aren't around. Because yeah. maybe there's something wrong with you. At the end of the day, go kill yourself. Because man. maybe there's something wrong with you. That's not for everyone. Isn't the game that should be made Maybe there's something wrong with you. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Some wrong with you. Maybe there's something. There's some whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe there's We're something wrong. We're blasting right through the lore. Maybe there's some... You literally. Oh, man, this guy really does say literally a lot, even when texting. You literally stole my video footage with an illegal video downloader. Bro, I guarantee you just used OBS to st screen record it. Take this video down and remake it with all the stolen footage and without my likeness in your thumbnail. I own the sole copyright to the Quantum TV brand and all its imagery assets. Failure to remove the stolen content will result in a takedown. I've already formally filed against you, but don't want to copyright strike you. I just want my assets removed, so I'm giving you a heads up. I don't mind criticism, just don't go stealing videos from my channel. That isn't going to fly. It's a violation of YouTube turns a service to use third-party software to acquire someone's videos, and you're risking your channel with stunts like this. Only warning, man. Only a warning. Damn well. it. This guy's going in. This guy's, like, literally fucking butts right now with copyright. <laughs> what a douche can you have. Yeah, just... Wrong with you. Maybe there's something wrong with you. <laughs> That's fine. It wasn't... Yeah, it was Facebook. I show you just how deep the rabbit hole goes. Court is now Whoa, in session. Shit. A false copyright strike and like take down prom. request uh, was recently filed Wait, against my channel. Guess. Take a guess by who? <laughs> Matt Haas. Nope. Derek Savage. Nope. Quantum TV. You guys want to have your fun with Quantum TV? Have your fun at this point. I mean, I'm kind of amused by this. I'm not going to lie. So you think it's funny? What is his name here? The Act Man? Never heard of you, and we're going to go over your so-called hot takes, <laughs> which contains a lot of stolen the footage, kind of and slaps. which, by the way, I'll look into my options around getting that taken down. Any further attempts to falsely copyright strike my channel will be met with a counter lawsuit in which I will clean you out. When you start talking fair use, you are- That's pretty hard line stance. Yeah. You're telling the copy- And I like his odds. Fuck you. Mudahar made a great video summing up the ramifications and what is actually at stake. Again, once you file this claim, somebody else can counterclaim you and then it becomes a legal issue. If it turns out that True. you're actually abusing this for, for your own benefit, just I am curious, criticism. do you think a case has ever actually gone to court, though, for delegation? I feel like it never does, even if you no, do counter. Like, they say it's supposed to be a legal matter, but it almost never is. It's usually just like, oh, I got countered. Yeah. I'll just counter just, again. Yeah. And then you counter again, and again, and again, through YouTube. Oh, yeah, I guess H3H3s did. That's true. But his was off-platform. Like, after the strike, he immediately went to court, I think. Well, yeah, that's all it says when you counter. It, it uh, doesn't, it's not like YouTube hosts it. It tells you, I see, like, I your see. next step is to file a claim. Do you remember... We can share this story now, right? Like The, the pizza home? Yeah, the statute yep. of limitations is probably expired. Yeah, I think we're good. This fucking guy. You may remember a long time ago on my channel, I had a video making fun of the Pizza Hut training video from the 80s. One fucking dude, he was a cameraman who filmed that, took down the video and threatened legal action because he said he had the rights to everything Pizza Hut related to that fucking video because he held the camera. That was literally like my first week that 
I worked with you. Yep. And you were like, hey, can you handle this guy? And he was like 95 years oh old. Oh my, the dude, he had a website that was oh. straight GeoCities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was, um, um it, it was straight up Zenga. Like that old school, like neon lines running across shit. It was so bad. God, that guy was an absolute nightmare. I, I immediately just folded. I was like, bro, I will just take down the video. Yeah, just get rid of the strike. worth it. Yeah, just get rid of the strike. You, you, I'll take the video down. He's like, nope. Uh, <laughs> nope, it, it I will so not do that. Stupid. We should put the video back up and take him to court if he tries to do it again. Yeah, fuck, man. Fuck that guy. He doesn't own Pizza Hut. He no, held a camera. He cannot prove that that's his. He is not. He is pretending to be the owner of the oh. Pizza Hut footage just because he was one of the camera guys. That's yeah, we're not scared anymore. We were new back then. Yeah. We'll, we'll take him all the way. I was just too green. Yep. Now I'm willing to meet him in court law okay that includes fair use dealings fair use law if you were to take this video to a fucking courtroom the things recent the hey is jubilee refugees okay? sorry to hear x is watching Jubi is jubilee area. you know normally but welcome. reacting or commentating on someone else's video as part of a critique falls under fair use and generally thing. speaking pretty much it's a, it's a meme on twitch so xqc will watch jubilee and the chat fucking hates it so when he watched jubilee some viewers will just like leave. Come to you <laughs> they'll just go some, amazing go somewhere else they call them jubilee, jubilee refugees it's fucking it's fucking great it's like xqc's version of raiding so he doesn't do like an official raid but he'll turn on uh jubilee and he'll just like disperse viewers all over the platform <laughs> That's like a reverse incredible. spirit bomb. Yeah, it's oh, it, it's God. so cute. It's so sweet. I think he does it on purpose, just being a nice that. guy. Some people might ask, well, why are you making this video? Why are you giving him exposure? Uh, I understand your concerns, but this affects the entire YouTube platform. By the way, he's not gaining much of a following or viewership from all of this controversy. I know, he's and kind of popping off. Yeah. Is the termination of his YouTube channel. That's bold. Oh. Routinely abusing oh, copyright, wow. violating over the terms of service, and the YouTube community guidelines. And there are all these people saying that I falsely attacked some young kid. Everybody loves to put his age out. The moment I mention it, why are you so obsessed with his age? I don't care, he's a minor. Or leave it alone. For some reason, oh, did he's he really obsessed with the age of mischief. Like, nobody gives a shit about his age. He's being a piece of garbage. People like mischief, who apparently is a young child. Maybe mischief's mother might want to get in on this. What? All the negative press you've seen on me is because I reviewed a game once, didn't like it. Some 16-year-old kid picked it up. This is said 16-year-old. 16-year-old, 17-year-old kid from the UK. Mischief, the 16-year-old kid. You're not some young 16-year-old kid. He really kid does seem internet. fixated was, on that age. Kid. This kid. He's a 16-year-old. There's a 16 16 year old kid, some 16 year old kid, 16 year old kid, 16 year old kid on the mischief is the yeah. chief orchestrator. I don't know I why you would highlight that when you're making an argument. Just yeah. to keep bringing up that they're 16, You're like bullying a 16 year old. To, like if I was to fight someone, I would only fight a child, like right. a 12 year old, and I would likely win. But I would never say I beat yeah. a child. Yeah. I'd be like, I just I went to I war. Won a, a fight. I won a fight. Yeah. I'm an undefeated fighter. One and zero. How old was that other fighter? We that, don't like. No one needs know. to ask. Yeah. Like I would yeah. never bring that up All willingly. All you need to know is he had fists too. <laughs> so, yeah. Two of them. Might I? There were two of them. Oh man, he's going full anime villain here. I'll have a judge explain the four characteristics of fair use, which determine fair use case, case law. Shake my head. Damn. Let's give a shout out to Mischief. You know, that is a great idea, Quantum. For once we agree on something, everybody go subscribe to Mischief. Let's get him to more subscribers than Quantum TV <laughs> oh, so we can see yeah, who the real. See yeah, wait, how did that work? So this has been a. This is a day old. Let's see what mischief is at. Hi, He's gonna be at like a million. Oh no, mischief. Oh, oh mischief. Oh wait, you're right. Yeah. Eighty-eight point nine k. Wait. Ooh. Yeah, just mischief. That's huge. Oh, that is so nice. Wait, now I want to see quantum. I hate to bully such a small creator, you know. Yeah. God. Oh, Quantum's at 65. <laughs> oh no, Quantum. Oh, Does he have fans? Like, do people defend him, I wonder? I can't imagine. The power of an apology. Oh no, is he rolling over? No. No. He's too strong for that. This is Quantum. This has to be the the, No. It's Today we're gonna clickbait, right? Yeah, it's definitely clickbait. Quantum's never said I'm sorry in his life. Now Mischief's gonna be punching down every time he makes a joke about Quantum. 
He, the craziest part is his normal content is, is reviewing TV technology. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. technology based. And then for some reason he came out of nowhere saying like, if you play Elden Ring and like it, you're going to hell. He also treats the YouTube community tab like it's Twitter. Oh lord. He posts so often on here. Let me see if I can find that quick religious post he made about how everyone that doesn't like him is actually a Satanist. He was talking- oh! He made a post- this one was so fucking weird. He made a post saying that people that don't like him have homosexual rituals where they have sex with their dad and practice sa Satanism. It was so fucking unhinged. That's pretty cool. He posted it in the community tab too, which means his subscribers got a notification with him saying that. Oh god. I wonder where that went though, because I didn't see it. It was a few days ago. It's on Ackman's Twitter, is it? Let me see. This shit was crazy when I read it. What an obtuse ass insult. <laughs> Homosexuals <laughs> that have sex with their dad. Like, what if you have sex with your dad you're not homosexual? Like, what, what? Oh, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it was a Discord post. Satanists in the skies. Every time I watch one of their videos, you can tell they're trying to brainwash the masses into their gay, liberal, satanic, atheist agenda. Oh, one minute God. someone could be watching Stop the FOMO, and the next minute they start having anal sex with their dads, doing coke, and trying to conjure demons with satanic rituals. Satanic influence isn't a joke. Bro, this guy's fucking wacky. This is what happens when you don't like Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you become. We found the one. Yeah. This shit was on. He had more posts like this in the community tab, but I guess they're gone. He, he was going hard, though. Like, That's just really insane. on it. Like, Chuck Tingle shit, where he's talking about, like, having sex with dinosaurs or something for the sake of disrespecting <laughs> God. Chuck what's, what's, what's funny to me is. You know he's, Chuck Tingle? No. Ace he's, Attorney Bigfoot at Large? Oh. <laughs> What? He's he's using God's name in vain to say that he hates other people. He just doesn't. It's true. Hey, nuts. hey, don't don't poke holes in his worship. Everyone oh loves the Lord in different ways. Mm -hmm. Every one of these people are going to hell and suffer for eternity. They need an ass kicking from some Christians. Also, all the troll comments from satanic atheists are getting banned. All the satanic, gay, atheist people accusing me of being a coward for deleting my video, I only had to delete them because of YouTubers' gay agenda instead of people getting upset at me. Why don't they just let me be? <laughs> oh my god, it, this shit is so fucking crazy. So he's extremely unhinged. Yeah, this guy was reviewing TV, TVs just one week ago. Can you believe that? So you're saying because uh, I fucked my dad, his channel's going down? <laughs> <laughs> Because they're all hetero heterophobic, anti-Christian pieces of shit. I don't want to participate in the anal sex the liberal people tell me to. I love to imagine, like, every day there's people knocking on his door trying to, like, bargain <laughs> anal sex. Just trying to convince him. It's like, God, stop. I'm not gonna do it! I think, I think he's just projecting. Maybe he just wants to fuck his dad. That's, yeah. Maybe he's, like, really wanting anal sex but can't find the right excuse of YouTube. Isn't it funny when people try to call you a bigot and a homophobe when they're literally exactly what they're trying to accuse you of being? Look at you. Literally look at what you're doing. It's rich watching you try to paint me as some sort of bigot as you literally are one. He put up very, very hateful God damn. things towards the LGBTQ wow. community. And I'm not just talking mean words. He actually wished death on them. Wishing death upon someone is another story I seriously question your sanity. Thanks for some cricket this is what and Chase. TV wrote back. Hey, Chase. Uh, they deserve it. The world is better off without them forcing their lifestyle on it. These are your accounts that you had linked on Damn, your this guy's really he's, he's going all of a sudden wacky. They, he's posting cringe on main. For them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, case closed. Mr. TV. He's innocent. Would you please read the words on your channel banner? The number one brand in honesty. Well, it should say the number one brand in lies. Take that! If your accounts were hacked and compromised, then why were these horrible offensive things left on your account after you regained control of it? Why is there no history or post we can refer to of you mentioning the hack back in 2018? Unless these accounts were under the hacker's control for the, the last editing four is years. fucking so laughing. That's incredible. not the case either because you're racist and i don't use any of these words lightly david fuck you and your hate speech against me calling me homophobic because i'm anti-gay support is all you liberals do i'm i'm pretty sure being Dude, isn't that like the definition of homophobic, homophobic. <laughs> well, I've never pushed my sexuality. So <laughs> what yeah that's I'm like racist i'm just anti other races what the <laughs> fuck is this guy talking about 
propaganda. Black Panther is racist and only the most hateful blacks like it. What? Holy yes, shit. Hello? Uh, what are the symptoms of brain damage? Place for anybody else, okay? There is one thing no community on YouTube Yeah, I watch Pounce. Copyright we abuser. I don't care about your opinion, dude. I care about the fact that you're nuts and you're toxic to this community. Cool. Yeah, this is like the Jussie Smollett of fucking YouTube. 100%. That's the perfect description. Let me do some funeral. I suggest you make peace with whatever content you wish to publish on your channel before you see this screen again and quantum. I hope he goes to see court. It again. I may not be able to offer I think a be cure for that narcissism, be but hopefully by shattering this Imagine false the judge reality and ring. sense of yourself, then perhaps maybe <laughs> oh, whatever spell huge. you're under, you will wake up from it. It's such a Ask shame. To, uh, and I was planning on asking you about this new TV I was interested in. Oh, I thought that was saying it already happened. No. Wait, 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 Damn, what a oh, thorough deep dive. Deep down, everyone's as ugly as you. Jesus. So what was his video then with the apology thing? So what is this then if it's not like an actual video? It's just a podcast. Does he speak? What's going on everybody? Yeah. Welcome to the Quantum TV Podcast. So today we're going to talk about some things I've learned. Oh yes, that's right ladies and gentlemen. This last month has been very entertaining to say the least. I've learned quite a few things. For example, I've learned if you wake up on a Thursday afternoon, just, you know, roll out of bed after using a bunch of slurs on Twitter, you can just hop online and apologize and everything goes away. You know, because you have a bright future ahead of you, or maybe you were a kid that is just having a bad day. Man, this Everybody's guy talks in, like, the most annoying fucking way. He... He talks as if he's giving like a presentation in class. He sounds like a like a really smarmy youth pastor. Yes, smarmy is a good word for it. Like very like smelling of his own yep. farts kind of Ooh, thing. 100%. Like I got a 15 on my ACTs, which was like above 50 percentile, <laughs> so I feel good. Like he like he literally takes like a wine glass, he sips, he's like, Do "You smell the four legs, child." <laughs> I don't want to listen to 26 minutes of it. I'm assuming I'm assuming there's no apology. I couldn't fucking tell you. 